I open the camera app and then I slide over to the video tab. I choose the little hand icon and then cinematic pan. Now I'm going to lift my camera off of the stand. I'll tap on the camera bump to autofocus and lock in the video temperature and the exposure by tapping on the buttons. You can see my hand is really shaky. I'll tap on the record button and then I'm going to pan over to the left. Now let's review that video. Uh, it's okay, I could do better. Let's try it again. So I lock on the camera bump, the exposure and brightness again. And then I'm going to record. And then let's see how that turned out. Oh, way better, yes. All right, let's try another way. Uh, I wish I didn't have to um, <laughs> tap the camera bump and lock in the exposure and the brightness all the time, but eh, this is what I gotta do. So I tried a uh, moving back motion. Let's see how that looks. Ooh, pretty. I encourage you all to not just only pan side to side, but try panning in and out, diagonal, so many different ways you can use this. All right, I gotta lock in everything again. Let's try diagonal up from the left. So I'm gonna hit record, then I'm gonna go up towards the right. Let's see how that looks like. Nice. Yeah, way better than if it was just my shaky hands and that's it. <laughs> All right, locking everything again. This time I'm going to go from the bottom and then move up. I'll tap record and then pan up. And let's see how that looks. Yes, I think this one's my favorite out of all of them. Yeah, I really, really, really like this one. Like I mentioned before, I encourage you all to be as creative as possible with Cinematic Pan. This is a great feature for the Google Pixel phones. And tag me on social media if you try this out. I'm Tech Valor everywhere.